it's scary to know that my daughters can grow up in a world that still does this because everybody thinks it's gone. And unless it happens to you, you know, it's really hard to believe. Like you think it's over with until it's you or it's your mother, your sister, your aunt. Total destruction, every single plate virtually, every single glass. I mean, this is my baby. Essentially, this is my baby. Just looking at it like this is depressing. But it's one of those things where I have to get up and move in because if I don't, I mean, like I'll be in a sunken place, <laughs> you know, for lack of a better. But um, yeah, when I uh, when I opened the Facebook Live, that I literally just 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 got here. I just opened the door, opened the back door. We couldn't even get in the back door because there were racks falling over. They even cut our water lines. They cut. They had the gas turned on. Um, I had to have the fire department come out and, and turn the gas off. Cups, glasses, plates. And I mean, the N-word was used multiple times. That's what people don't even understand. It was posted several times on so much of my equipment, my podium. Pictures don't even do it justice. Like I know people think they know because they saw a couple pictures, but the pictures here, mm-mm. And we've been able to get a lot cleaned up. Um, we started yesterday and you know, it looks a lot better than it did. But man, we, I have a little ways to go. Um, I'm a friend of Vicki's and also I used to work here with her. It was heartbreaking. Like we were just in here the night before celebrating her daughter's birthday. And I know how hard she works and it's been plenty of times when I was working here where it was just me and her and she worked hard for this and for somebody to just come and destroy it for no reason, it, no reason at all that it should even be going on still. Um, today I came to help. Yesterday we were just looking around to see where to start at because it, for her it was like, where do you even begin? A lot, of, a lot of people in the community, other businesses and restaurants down here, a lot of them have came and helped or dropped off supplies or, you know, encouraged her texts or calls or emails. So much support, so much support. Um, Father Tommy, Andrea Staff from the Downtown Association, other businesses, Nick Fairley from Fairley's Wings reached out. and. It, it, it just feels good to know that everybody's behind me. Because that was one of the things, when you walk in and you see something like this, you feel alienated, you feel overwhelmed, you, you feel like it just was really offensive. You know, I mean, it was tough. One thing I can say is, when things like this happen, your first thought is to be discouraged. That's what it does to you, it discourages you. But you have to turn and take this and just let it fuel you. And I got a lot of people to prove wrong. Whoever did this wanted to instill in me that I could not go forward, that I could not do it. And now I feel obligated to show them that they didn't stop anything. Now I, I have to be great. <laughs> now it has to work. We have to be successful because I have to show them that what they did did not stop us. And if I stop now, I allowed them to win.